how to add purse feet to a bag with boxed corners once the bag's already made up. And this is a cheats way using a bit of Violin S520, some template plastic and some purse feet. First thing you've got to do is cut the Violin S520 to fit the base of the bag. There are instructions on doing this in the patterns for, well in my patterns. And we're going to mark the purse feet, purse feet placement on the Violin S520. Then, using the Super Saddler's Punch, we're going to punch some holes straight through some template plastic and the Violin S520 all in one go so that they line up again when you're going to put the purse feet in. I'm using sticky tape to hold the template plastic and the Violin S520 together so that there's no movement while we do some very loud banging. Ready? It's very, very quick with the saddest punch. It just goes through layers and layers of, of stuff all at the same time. Okay, so we've got the base there. I'm going to use a moleskin pressing cloth, which is great because you can fold it to just the right size to use as a little ironing board inside the bag. If you don't have some moleskin, you can use a towel or I have heard tale of people using oven mitts but it's better than a rounded pressing ham if you can get something that's nice and flat that can sit right to the corners of the bag base with a little bit of overhang to protect your hands from steam. Okay, I'll just wake up that iron and put the bag base on the bottom so that there's a little bit of room around it and you've got it centred over the base seam. Now hold that in place and press it on. Violin S520 is great because it's fusible and if you're like me just then and made a little move <laughs> with it, you can, can relocate it if you move it while it's still warm. Okay, press it on. Just give it another press. So what it does is create a nice smooth edge for the base and it allows us to line up where we're going to punch some holes with where they're going to go through on the template plastic. Which is what I'm going to do now. Pull it back through to the right side out and using the original holes as a guide, knock the fabric in the base out with the saddler's punch. I'd be lost without my saddler's punch. Okay, so we've got some little holes there. Put the template plastic back in and it'll line up with those holes. And I'll pop the purse feet through. And then it's just a matter of splaying out those little prongs. I'll do all four. And you can also cover the back of the prongs with a heavy tape, whether it be gaffer tape or strapping tape, which will protect your lining from the prongs. I'd be interested to hear feedback from anybody who knows something that might be more washable than those. So there we have it. Purse feet in the bottom of a bag. Now, if you wanted to put strapping tape over, there's a little, here's one I made earlier, just covering up the prongs, which will mean that the lining won't catch on them. That's all there is to it. You just go about making the rest of your bag, putting in your lining, the same as usual.